So just today, Anvo CEO did a massive one hour and a half live stream in the desert here in China to showcase the capabilities of the Anvo L60. And just to prove how hot it was, he used the thermometer and showed you that it was like 60 plus degrees. Uh, the floor was 60 plus degrees. The car surface was over 70 degrees. It was so hot that they could actually cook an egg on the car. They showcased several important things, but more importantly, there was a one more thing at the end of the live stream that just completely shocked everyone. So you can tell this is in the desert. It's very hot. So they wanted to showcase and test off uh, Envo L60's uh, heat dissipation capabilities. All right. So one of the very cool things that he talked about during the entire live stream was that the materials for the interior has a special anti-heating coating and that coating has never before used throughout the entire interior of the car it's only been used for this uh, the steering wheel of the toyota alpha which was a super expensive car but in order to be able to not absorb that much heat that special coating is applied to the entire surface of the uh, interior of the car so it's just a very special capable special thing that they have and also when they were doing the live stream there were actually some blunders all right some things that didn't go as planned i'll, I'll talk about that as well and then i'll talk about the very big surprise one more thing shock so also very interesting is you know how hot it is and it, it's very there's lots of sun uh, he they talked about how the glass has uh, basically like spf 130 equivalent of uv protection and on top of that there's actually they did a extensive design on the aer aerodynamics inside the car so the airflow inside the car so there's actually like a special almost like an air shield right between the top glass and the occupants so when you blow the air conditioning it actually goes like it doesn't blow into the middle of the car all right there's like a shield that wraps around and the air flows through on close to the top of the car and that essentially acts as a cushion between the hot glass on top and your head so actually that's something that they really wanted to show off and also very interesting uh right when they got into the car they can tell right away you know even though it's been in like out in the sun for over two hours uh, the steering wheel isn't hot to the touch the seats are not hot to the touch uh, that's because of that special coating they had but also they wanted to really show off the uh AC capabilities of this car. So they turned the AC on and within 10 minutes, they were able to dissipate the heat from the car and make it really, really cool inside the car as well. Now, the car also has built-in karaoke or KTV function and Envil Seal really wanted to showcase this off, but this is where the first blunder came in, the first blooper. That was the fact that apparently this car could not connect to the internet uh, it didn't have that signal whereas for their mobile phones they had the signal uh, and basically no reception for the car but yes reception for their phones so they had to turn on hotspot and then let the car connect to the hotspot and then they were able to showcase the karaoke function which was a small blunder but i'm sure within the city reception will be very very good and then also another blunder was after karaoke after they, they sung their songs which was a little bit off tune i'd say uh they tried to turn off the music which i, I don't know why it took like 10 seconds for them to turn off the music they were struggling with it and uh, it didn't seem natural so somehow for some reason they struggled to turn off the music and we'll count that in as a blooper so they got two bloopers but then when they were driving the car you know the car was driving fantastic and then they were also talking about the interior spaciousness of the car so he talked about how normally when you're dr driving and you're in the driver's seat you can reach back and then you're able to get something off the rear seats but with this car you're not able to do that because it's just so spacious and uh, he also talked about how some of the partners 
all right, when William Lee, when he gets his, some of the investment partners to sit in this car, there was this one dude who was over two meters, and he sat in the back of the car and was so surprised by the fact that he was able to sit inside it comfortably. Despite this car being an SUV coupe, it just has so much space. The other thing they really wanted to emphasize was the Macpherson suspension that they were using. A lot of people were saying that this was a big weakness, but instead of uh, having one ball uh, hinge, they have two ball hinges for the Macpherson suspension. So apparently it doesn't compromise on driving dynamics. So Macpherson, of course, it's much cheaper and has very good stability, a very good suspension. Okay, very good comfort, but people were saying that it sacrificed on driving dynamics, but they made sure that they did not make that compromise. And uh, this car is actually capable of drifting as well, and Anvil C himself also drifted the car uh, yesterday, all right, in, before the live stream. Now, clearly, the spacious interior is one of the big selling points of this car, and this test was done in the super hot summer and also the rear trunk could apparently fit up to six uh, eight suitcases which is absolutely nuts eight suitcases I'm like how, how did they fit those eight large suitcases in that's out of the question but apparently there's this uh, one area for another 20 inch suitcase when you open the trunk uh, that's submerged inside the trunk and that area is apparently where you can fit a fridge or freezer and this is where the Easter egg comes in there's one more thing so the whole time they've been driving these cars and then afterwards they open the trunk and then they took out some ice cream yeah I kid you not they took out some ice cream from the back of the car it's it's like 40 plus degrees outside the floor is 60 plus degrees the car is extremely hot but they had ice cream in the back of the car inside the freezer all right if they didn't show off the freezer, but you can clearly tell it's from the freezer. They have a freezer submerged within the back of the, uh, the trunk, which will be a uh, add-on. So you got to pay extra to get that freezer, and it's portable as well. But absolutely nuts. Even the water is frozen. They got ice cream, and here's the Envil CEO handing out ice cream. So that is just massive. No other car has a freezer in the car, all right? Even the ES8, which I currently have with me, and I've made a test drive video, well, not test drive video, a top five reasons why to buy that car video over here. You gotta go check that out. But even that car doesn't have a freezer. That car has a fridge that only gets down to zero degrees, but clearly on the Envil L60, you get a freezer that goes under, under zero degrees to be able to freeze ice cream absolutely insane absolutely nuts shocking one more thing but go check out my es8 video as always stay safe stay healthy peace out